Thank you. Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and today I am going to get into a video on how to use computer services within Windows 10. So as far as that goes, what we have is uh, go down to start, type in computer management and from here, and, and by the way, if you're on previous versions of Windows, uh, just try to find my computer when you go to start. And then um, what you want to do is right click that and go to computer management. So from there, what you want to do is go down to, and I'll talk a little bit about these others. You want to go to service and applications, services, and on the right side, so let's make this a little bit bigger. And by the way, that's a quick tip. Um, they fixed this on Windows 10 before, I, I don't remember, I think, yep, yeah, it's this side for you, that side for me. So, um, where you're seeing the window, hopefully the service tab over here. Um, I got a dual monitor set up, and before you couldn't snap, to to somewhere where there was a monitor on the other side now they have it where you can do that or i modified it in some way i forgot about it. I, th I think they actually did add it so anyways as far as that goes if we go down to here we can click on a service so something like fax you can see that it uh what it what's about you can also view all that information down here you can start it, stop it from there, start it, stop it from there. And if it's already started, you can stop, restart from there. But uh, let's double click that. You also get the information here, the start type, the start, stop, and set parameters and stuff like that. So the biggest thing to note here is um, what you want to do is if you're troubleshooting your system, and like say for example, uh, one of the computers I that that's older that I mess with says it has a Hyper-V issue and I can research what is that if I don't know so I, I highly suggest you to up your researching skills but um, and, and figure out do I actually need this or not and I can just turn it off altogether and make, make sure it doesn't come back on by uh, disabling it so manual what happens on a lot of these is um disable it just disables it manual requires it started so so um automatic and, and automatic delay pretty much tells you what it does right there and um so that's pretty much about it um if you've got any questions or anything else on this and let me know so let's get into these other things because this is a pretty important to notes Basically, task scheduler, it lets you know when tasks happen. So you can actually go into here. And by the way, by the way, uh, real quick, uh, before I forget with the services tab is, and this is a good reason why I watch my videos too then, is if you're in a environment, so say for example, if I'm like in a research station or a high data cap area or whatever like that, what I can do is forcefully say that stuff is not going to run. So, or, or if I see something sucking down my battery or whatever, I can forcefully s stop that and that, that way it'll keep it. Or if I'm trying to modify something, so like a geolocation service, I, I don't want that running. I can actually make it where it stops. But anyways, going into task scheduler, you, uh, you get your task there what, what's running or what, what's last run what's triggers and stuff like that so you can actually prevent things from starting up and, and whatever from there event viewer this is a great area if you go to event viewer windows logs and system you if you get uh criticals take a look at it blue screens of devs you can actually get the uh, error codes and stuff within here um, it, it's loading. Uh, it does usually take a little while to load. Performance is pretty good because you can actually see things. And um, I, I think I've done videos on the past on how to use this to make logs. So there's an example I've done in the past where you had a 
girl or guy, whatever, it doesn't matter, at work, like you're an IT person and they complain that their system's shutting down, breaking down, whatever, you go try to fix it three or four times, can't fix it, try, tr can't figure out what's going on, but know that there's actual uh, problem or at least it won't stop until you figure it out. So what you do is you set up a lock, say, here, do whatever you need to do, keep doing whatever, and I'll, I'll check it out at the end of the day. And what you'll find uh, in the survey, and, and th this is an example that actually came out from one of my classes when I was going to school for my last degree, is you, uh, the, the person will play, be playing something like Candy Crush, and it will be shutting down other services in the background, not as a virus or whatever, but just how the program works. It'll be messing up other things, and the, you can say, hey, you're playing games while you're at work, so that's a bad thing. But on top of that, you can be like, don't do this. Or you can bring it up to the manager, and the managers can take care of it. But you have to take off that and find a way to keep it off or um, or get the person out so they don't keep re-uploading and potentially affecting the in every computer if it is uh, has a virus on it. So that's a big thing. That's, that's a big thing. And it's a good thing to have at home uh, to understand these type of things so you can be your own IT person and uh, paying someone to do all this stuff because for the most part um, this is what all they're going to do anyways so and it's not you know you're not turning wrenches you don't require the power there it's just knowledge so as far as that goes um, if you got any questions on this then let me know um, I think it's a very important thing to take a look at computer management because it's a very powerful tool but uh, I hope you have a great day. Check out my other videos. Go to Patreon. Help this channel out. So, um, see you later.